What is up guys, Fahan here. Today is uh, 4th April 2020. Currently at Tanamira MRT station, heading towards uh, Changi Airport. Attention please, the train approaching platforms C and D will end its service at Changi Airport. The train approaching platforms C and D will end its service at Changi Airport. The train is like almost empty. This is so fascinating. So anyway, the reason why I'm heading to Changi Airport is because I would like to document Changi Airport right now. Because of the current coronavirus situation, the COVID-19, uh, Changi Airport is basically only a few flights are flying out of there and nobody is really going there. So I thought that uh, it would be good to document Changi Airport uh, right now to see how it is like. Uh, yesterday, the Prime Minister of Singapore, uh, Mr. Lee Sen Lung, he announced that the country from 7th of April onwards uh, it will be going on a partial lockdown, a circuit breaker you will call it. Basically only essential services will be operation as per usual but all other workplaces, construction, uh, anything that's not essential will have to shut down temporarily and most people have to work from home. So this is the initiative by the government. But there's no announcement of a full lockdown unlike Malaysia, which is currently having the movement of control order. People are still able to go out of their houses and do whatever they want, but it's strongly encouraged by the government just to go out for important things, just to go out to obtain essentials from the market. And most of the time, they're supposed to stay in their flats, they're supposed to stay in their homes. I'm not sure how this is going to work out, but this is going to be for one month until uh, the 7th of uh, May and this is definitely going to put a lot of uh, plans in uh, jeopardy Doors are closing why I'm taking the train today is because I want to see how is uh, the MRT like I must say this is surprising because usually the MRT is uh, packed with people even the trains towards Changi Airport uh, this is something that you don't really see every day you know Surprisingly, there's still a crowd. These are uh, what I assume, I think, they're actually airport staff still coming to the airport. But I don't think there are any passengers or public, you know, other than myself. Uh, first impressions, uh, the airport, despite the passengers leaving the train, right? First impressions, uh, it doesn't look very busy. It doesn't look like there's many people around. So with the exception of a few people, it's really deserted. This isn't unlike Changi Airport. It's freaking deserted. Oh my god. You guys are documenting the airport also. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh, where are you guys from? Media? No, huh? no, no, no. Oh, oh. Just for this. Uh, taking video? Yeah. What do you guys think of the airport being, being empty like this? Crazy, huh? Sad. Sorry? Sad. Sad. Crazy. How long have you guys been here already? Since uh, 10 a.m. And came from T3 and T3 T3 and T1. T1. So this was the situation for the past few hours, huh? Yeah, pretty much. But the mall actually not. I mean, still quite. Some life mm. the mall. It's like a dead mall. <laughs> okay, guys. Take care. See ya. Oh my gosh, guys! Look at this. Even the check-in counters. There's nobody here. I'm gonna get upstairs to the viewing gallery. You know, I wonder why the hell would they have a Japanese food court in Singapore? They should showcase actually local food. 
but um, look at this. There's really nobody here. Only the staff walking over the counter, walking into a serving mall. But uh, as I pass by this place, looking over the transit area, there's nobody. Look at this. Now, usually on a Saturday or on Sunday, there will be lots of public, you know, coming to the airport just to hang out, eat, walk around. One of the best places to bring a girl on a date. <laughs> There's really not much people here. It's like a ghost town. It's like a dead mall. Never thought I'd live to see the day. This is very, very surreal. Nobody is even dining in. Nobody. Even some shops have resorted to closing the whole damn thing like this. Look at this. Close the whole damn thing. Terminal 3 now, one of the newer terminals with the exception of Terminal 4. So there seems to be a little bit more people and flights over here. However, most of the flights have been cancelled. Only left two flying out of Changi Airport, I guess. Check-in counters are empty, as you can see. Unused trolleys, neatly stacked. Oh my god, guys, there's really nobody here. Literally, there's literally like only a handful of people walking around and what I see my airport staff and people who are fascinated by the emptiness of Terminal 3 right now this is heading towards the viewing mall and look at this Terminal 3 transit only airport staff are walking around it's usually full of passengers <sighs> my god guys the emptiness of Changi Airport it's really intriguing. A very depressing sight indeed lah. Look at this. At the parking tarmac out there. The A380s, SIA's A380s are parked there. They're probably parked there. They're not even going out. No flights. Some of the shops have even started to close. So I actually spoke to the clerk who was working at this uh, Planet Traveller. And um, she declined to be on camera but she spoke to me. She said that uh, she's quite depressed that her store is empty, there's no customers and she told me that I'm the first person to ever cross the store I feel really uh, <laughs> uh, honoured for some reason but at the same time I feel sad for her yeah she was really happy when she saw me you know and guys right below you can see the luggage belt rows and rows of neatly placed luggage trolleys sitting there usually this place is full of passengers but now it's like totally empty and only meant to house these uh, luggage trolleys I'm at the iconic Jewel Vortex waterfall. Everything seems to be normal here. Uh, we're seeing a reduction in uh, the public coming here. There doesn't seem to be much people around, but the shopping mall is uh, still buzzing. Look at this, guys. Shake Shack. It's still buzzing with people. The queue is still long. <laughs> so, Jewel seems to be business as usual. Lots of people at the basement level where all the food is. I think the crowd has uh, thinned quite a bit. It's not really as crowded as the usual, you know. And once again, ANW always crowded. I have to say that uh, somewhat business as usual in Jewel. But can't say the same for the terminals though because uh, terminals are quite uh, deserted not really much people so I think we're gonna end this vlog here hope you like it we shall see you in the next one